haven't even started off this vlog yet. My name is Lauren if you're new, but welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm making some cookies right now. I'm in a hurry. I haven't even started the vlog because we've just been... I had a slow morning, which I needed, and then Christian and I exchanged Christmas gifts because he's going home for Christmas next week. I can't believe Christmas day is a week from today. So, it's the 18th. But I have my company Christmas party, like the staff Christmas party, owners of the company's house. So I'm going there and we're supposed to bring dessert. I didn't have enough time to make banana bread or anything, but these Sweet Lauren's, I don't know if it's Sweet Lauren or Sweet Lorenz, but I know that this is another way to spell Lauren, so I just call it Sweet Lauren's. But they're gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, peanut, tree nut free so i thought this would be good to bring if you haven't tried the sweet lawrence cookies you're missing out they're really good and every time christian and i make them we always say how is this gluten and dairy free because they taste so good so good i haven't tried any of the other ones but they also have like a cranberry sugar cookie one and a i think like a fudge one and i just got the chocolate chip so they're really good what else oh my new iphone came in the mail and the picture quality and the video quality is insane i got a green phone case i'm obsessed with this green color i have it on my toes as toenail polish it's just my favorite color at the moment so i can link this phone case you can't tell, it looks like it's a silver phone. So I got the gold one. I'm gonna show you guys that. Oh, since we're going over to their house, they live on one of the chains of lakes. If you live in Orlando, then you probably know of Lake Conway. My dad's house is actually on one of the chain of lakes in Orlando for as long as I can remember. There is a boat parade and each lake has a different day of the weekend. It's always the weekend before Christmas, but each lake has a different day of the weekend that it falls on. So tonight is the middle lake night, and then tomorrow is the other lake, like the last lake. So every year all the boats go around the lake and people sit out on their dock and watch the boats go by. And some of the boats are decorated so insane. People go all out with their Christmas lights to decorate their boats. It's crazy. So I'll take a few clips. I don't know if I'm going to bring my camera, but I'll take a few clips maybe on my phone or if I decide to bring my camera to show you because there's always one boat. They do like a pirate ship and it's really cool. I've been watching the boat parade since I was really young. And it's just every year because my I grew up on the lake. I've been living in that house that my dad lives in and still lives in for my whole life until now. So I've been watching it for a while. I don't know when they started it, but it's really cool. So my um, job owners live on the lake as well, or one of the lakes. You guys, I'm running so late and it's so embarrassing. I hate being late, but I didn't let my cookies cool too much and I stacked this plate of cookies on top of this plate of cookies and, ha, huh, what is that? Oh my gosh, nothing like being late and with smushed cookies. The sunset though is so pretty.
I've been having slow mornings this weekend and it's been really nice because it's almost one o'clock and I just am up and doing things. I love this tree. I'm gonna miss this tree. <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. I feel like December is going by so quick and I don't remember it going by this quick as a kid. I remember just counting down the days till Christmas and it felt like it just was so it took so long i have to run to my dad's house i need to organize my closet just look there, it is so hard to make the shoe racks look good but i don't have any room for anything and i need to clean up there i don't even know why i'm showing you this i hang up all of my work pants to dry so they don't shrink and then i hang up all my leggings and biker shorts to dry as well I need to organize this. Since I got the new iPhone, I am have all these boxes and stuff, which I like to save. I don't need to save this. And then I have a like screen protector, like an extra one that it came with. I got off Amazon, and I really like it. I like it because it comes with a... So this one comes with an insulation frame, which I like because it makes it super easy to install the screen protector. So you just put this over your phone. It's just like a perfect guide for your screen protector. I need to clean my closet today, do some laundry, but I know this isn't like the cutest bag you've ever seen, but I've had it for a really long time and my dad just found this bag and I don't know, I didn't know what happened to it, but, so if you guys know, my mom passed away like over five years ago, which I can't even believe it's been that long, and she got this bag from for me, and growing up, my favorite thing in this whole world was butterflies. I had like a real butterfly that was dried out and framed in my room. She took me to like butterfly gardens. I had butterfly books all about them, butterfly t-shirts. I just was so obsessed with butterflies growing up and I still love them. And I think that's one of the ways that she contacts me is through butterflies. I also believe in red cardinals as well, but this bag she got me for one of my birthdays and it's, it's not, it's not cute, but it's, holds a special place in my heart because it is made from Harbor Island which is in the Bahamas and I will show right here Harbor Island Eleuthera Bahamas it's actually where we spread her ashes uh four years ago and I haven't been back since but I definitely need to go back and visit her because I miss her but every single summer growing up this is where we would go for a month was Harbor Island. It's one of my favorite places in the whole entire world and it was my mom's favorite place. I don't even know why I'm getting like, kind of emotional about it but it was her favorite place and that's why we spread her ashes there because it was her favorite place. So I'm gonna hold on to this bag forever because it is where she's buried and that's where it's from. So, and there's roosters in it because there's roosters all around the island. You always hear them. So, yeah, my dad found it and he gave it to me because I, I didn't even, I for, completely forgot about this bag. <laughs> completely forgot about it, but holds like a special place in my heart and I'll never, ever, ever get rid of it. So, I'm going to share that. I know it's like whatever, but yeah, so this is what I'm tasking today organizing this as best I can I really just there's not much that I can do in here I don't even know why Christian and I thought that we could share a closet here because <laughs> I need more space for my stuff wearing the sweatshirt that I got last weekend the everything happens for a reason sweatshirt this is the back also please ignore my messy island but so comfy so comfy i'm loving it i'll link it it's a small business so definitely support but i got all this stuff yesterday 
like our company party I got it from. I got this big bottle of champagne. I think I'm gonna take this to my dad's house because I'm going there for Christmas. So I'm gonna take this and that way <laughs> my family and I can enjoy it. And this popcorn, which I've never tried before. So this looks so, so good. And I'm also, I think I'm two days behind on this. I need, or maybe just, oh wait, today's the 19th. So I didn't do yesterday's and then today's. Look at how big the 24th is. It's like this big. So it's probably gonna be something good. I'm gonna take it to my dad's house on Christmas Eve. But I can't believe it's almost done. I need to like put this stuff away. I don't know if I mentioned, but we opened Christmas gifts yesterday. And look, I am so excited. Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume Christian got me and then he got me some Bottega stuff like that but this is the best smelling perfume ever so we exchanged gifts yesterday so the tree is now bare underneath it but This is what I just got from Starbucks. A grande cold brew with vanilla sweet cream cold foam and then two pumps of chestnut praline in the cold foam. I am about to, so I just got my Starbucks and I am gonna go to Trader Joe's. I think what I'm gonna do for Christmas Eve, since it is a week from like two days ago, our family is getting together for it. And I think what I'm going to bring is a charcuterie board. And it's not gonna be like an extravagant charcuterie board, but I just want to get some stuff today instead of going on Christmas Eve to Trader Joe's because I know going on Christmas Eve is gonna be absolutely insane. So I just wanna go today and grab everything because I know it will stay good for five days, of course. And that way I already have everything. I feel like Trader Joe's has reasonably priced cheeses and stuff. Because one time I went to Publix and got all of, all of the stuff. And it was just a simple charcuterie board and I was I spent $90 on it, all the stuff. So kind of hoping to not spend that much at Trader Joe's, but I'm gonna just go and get some stuff like that now. So that's what's going on. I'm gonna go get stuff for a charcuterie board for Christmas Eve. Show you guys what I get from Trader Joe's when I get back home.
Okay, I just got home a little while ago from Trader Joe's and I came back, did some laundry, went to Publix, grabbed more stuff and reorganized my closet, did all that stuff. And then I remember that I forgot to show you what I got from Trader Joe's. So, so this is all gonna be for the little charcuterie board that I'm doing for Christmas Eve. And I'll just show you everything. Okay, so I got these organic cracker assortment. I thought this was perfect because it has so many different types of crackers inside. So I got a box of that. I got these honey pretzel sticks, which I thought would be good. I got the fig and olive crisps. I thought this would be good. And then the non crackers, which are amazing with everything. So those are the crackers that I got for the board. And then I got some rosemary for decor, cranberries for eating and decor, and then borzen garlic and herb cheese. This is so good. I got some peppered salami, and then I got three other hard cheeses. So I got this unexpected cheddar cheese. At first I thought it was vegan, but it's not. It says, tastes like an aged premium cheddar with hints of Parmesan. So I got this. I got a Dutch Gouda cheese. And then I got a jalapeno Monterey Jack cheese. So that's basically everything that I got for the board. I'm just gonna put it back in the Trader Joe's bag so that way I can easily take it to my dad's house on Friday and make it. So. I'm not meal prepping this week because it's only a four day week. Christian leaves Wednesday to go home. I look like a mess. Um, Christian goes home on Wednesday. So I'm just bringing at Publix. I love Publix so much and I don't know if anyone who doesn't live in the South has anything like a Publix, but their classic chicken salad is so good. So I'm gonna put this on a sandwich for the week and that's what I'll have for lunches. And that way I don't have to meal prep or anything. And okay, so last week I got some Celsius. I think I still have one left. Um, I got the Peach Vibe Celsius, which is so good. It tastes like a peach ring in a can. You know the candy that you probably ate as a kid, the peach rings? Literally, it tastes just like that, and it's so good. Um, but I started drinking these as a pre-workout. I keep, like, missing the handle. So I started drinking these as a pre-workout because I work out after work, and after work, sometimes it can be really hard to get yourself through a workout. So this has been definitely a big help and I'm literally obsessed with them. So I started drinking them. I would drink them on my way home from work at 5.30 because you're supposed to drink them like 15 to 20 minutes before a workout. So I was like, oh no, I hope this doesn't keep me up. And the first day that I drank them, I stayed up, I think until like 11.30 it kept me up. But the second day I went to bed at my normal like 9.30, 10 o'clock. So I got two containers because Publix is currently doing like a two for 12, two packages of four for 12. So I got, they didn't have the peach, sparkling peach. I was looking for it and they didn't have it, but I got kiwi guava and then raspberry acai green tea. I'm sure everyone has tried Celsius. I'm like the last one. My fridge is also so messy. So look, um, I feel like I'm the last one to jump on the train, but they're just so good and I think it's the perfect thing to drink before a workout after work because I don't know it just it gives me that boost that I need especially after a long day my camera battery's about to die
Okay, I just went to my mailbox and got a package from Merit Beauty. And I was so excited when they reached out to work with me again and offered to send me some products to share with you guys. I have shared Merit Beauty on my channel multiple times and I've repurchased a lot of the products as well. So for the holidays, they're doing this black velvet little bag which i think is so cute when i first got the products they had a brownish goldish bag and i still have it i'll show you sorry it's a little bit dirty because i've brought it with me on multiple trips but this was the original bag that they sent me their makeup products in and then they offered to send me a restock these are the original products that they sent me i have repurchased the mascara three times and this is their um, complexion stick, which can be used as a foundation or just a concealer. I'm at the very end and I was just about to reorder more and they reached out. So I got a restock on the complexion stick. I use the shade Bisque. This is what it looks like when you get it. Not like this, but it lasts a really long time and I love how natural it looks. I wear this complexion stick to work every single day and it's perfect for not wearing any foundation. So really do love this. What I love most about this brand is that it is completely all natural, cruelty free, paraben free, all that good stuff. So I'm excited. Now I can finally <laughs> throw this away and stop scraping out of the bottom. They also have lip products. I have the color Pink Beat. They also have multiple different colors of this. I have two of their cream blushes. This is the color Beverly Hills. And then this is the color Mood. Really good. Some of my favorites. And then this is one of their brow products, it's the brow wand. And then their mascara, which I have raved about. It's a lengthening mascara. It's really good. I'll show you the wand. That's what it looks like. Last time I got the product sent to me, they were out of stock of their brush, but this time they were in stock of their brush, so I decided to get that. This is the brush that you use with their complexion stick. So I haven't used these two products together because they were out of stock of the brush, but I'm thinking that this is gonna make it go on super seamless. So I'm super excited about the brush and I'm super excited about a restock on this for work. But if you order during the month of December, you get a black bag with any one of your purchases on Merit Beauty. So I'll link their website down below. I'll link the products and the shades that I got as well. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share because I'm so excited. Definitely check out Merit Beauty. One of my favorite beauty brands. They sell them at Sephora as well. So just wanted to share. We're getting Shake Shack for dinner. I was just at this Trader Joe's earlier today and they're in the same parking lot. Oh my gosh. I didn't open my advent calendar, but it's just a Santa hat for day 18. 19 is a little star. Just wanted to end off this video here. We're going to shower. Christian's already in the shower. Um, I'm gonna get ready for bed, do some skincare, and get ready for the work week. It's only a four day week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm.